people are extremely you know, concerned about this coronavirus. I want to ask you, what is your advice to you know, your patients when they come and see you? It's definitely a very serious issue right now. Every morning you're getting updates and it's getting more number in cases and it's getting also more serious. And so definitely I'm telling my patients to just take precautionary measures. Don't panic, but just be vigilant and just be, be aware of what you can do to prevent this. So let's go back to the basic. So personal hand hygiene means washing your hands with soap and water frequently for 20 seconds. If it's not available, you can also use a hand sanitizer to replace it if the hands are not visibly soiled. And also avoid going to the public. But we all know that's sometimes very difficult, right? So if you can't avoid going to the public and you have to go out, then wear a mask. Mm, okay, so those are all the practicalities and some of the back to basic stuff. So, you know, what should you do? You know, the minute you start feeling a little bit ill, well, first, I think it's important to remind everybody of the symptoms first, so they know, oh, when do I need to see a doctor? So first of all, if you have fever, so fever, we call that 30 degrees and above, mm -hmm. um, Celsius and mm -hmm. above. Um, also, if you have respiratory symptoms, so for some, it can be just a cough. For some, it can be as serious as shortness of breath and just a difficulty in breathing. So when you have those symptoms, then the first thing you should do is go see a doctor or quarantine yourself if you've had actually a travel history to Wuhan or a hospital in China in the last 14 days. And before you see a doctor, it might be very helpful for the medical staff to inform them over the phone that you have this travel history and mm. you have these symptoms so they can take preparations to mm. see you. You know, you mentioned face masks a little bit earlier on. Okay, we have a few face masks um, here. I remember when I moved to Asia, I was actually wearing these face masks the wrong way. Uh, tell me how, <laughs> you know, what's the most effective way of using these face masks? Let's start with this one. This one is actually what we just use as an allergy mask. Okay? Oh, prevents okay. dust, it prevents particles, but it would not be what the Center of Health Protection recommends. Okay. What we recommend is this three-ply mask right here. Mm -hmm. So this one and this one are both okay. Now the okay? question is for me, I mean, is the blue side facing out or the white side? If you have the blue one, I can tell you that it's the blue one, but mm. what if you don't? Okay, so which way is that? So. Let's take the more difficult mm -hmm. one. So, you will always feel a wire on one side, mm -hmm. and then you'll always on the other side feel just uh, no wire, okay? Mm -hmm. The wire side is designed to help shape to the bridge of your nose. So, what we want to do is actually put this close to our face, and then we're gonna form fit it by pinching it right at the nasal bridge, and then we're gonna pull it just below the chin. Mm -hmm. So, for example, you can take this one, okay, and I can take this one. Yeah. So again, before putting on the mask, we uh -huh. should do hand hygiene. Wash your hands for 20 seconds. Please go ahead, show me how to use it. <laughs> so one squirt, uh -huh. and then you want to do palm to palm. Oh, yeah. The back of the hand. I'm definitely lazy doing this one. <laughs> yeah. You need to do the finger webs. Finger webs. Yeah. You have to sing happy birthday. <laughs> oh, my nails are yeah. not done. Yeah. And then you need to do the nails of your second, third, fourth, fifth finger by doing this. Okay. Okay. And what about the thumb? Oh, you got to do the wow, thumb because we just reached the. You know, I'm not doing this properly. I can and tell you now. And then the other thumb. Uh huh. And then last but not least, the wrist. And okay. that should be approximately the amount of time that it takes for the alcohol or or whatever you're using to dry off. Mm. So after doing that, then okay. you want to pick up your mask, mm -hmm. and then you want to put it just right over the nasal bridge with mm -hmm. the wire on top. Mm -hmm. You sometimes may not get the color. Mm -hmm. So if you have a white mask, then mm -hmm. put the wire over top. Yeah. Pinch it on your nose. Uh huh and then put it over your ears, and then pull down. Pull down. And then a it's well, wrapped A well-worn mask, so press it right across your maxillary bone. Yep. A well-worn mask, you shouldn't be able, if you wear glasses, it shouldn't become foggy. Ah, it should be completely sealed. That's where I'm going wrong. I actually had to <coughs> wear contacts for this interview. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on. Um, so, you know, I think, my next question is, in Hong Kong, we are very much in small spaces all the time, you know, limited space. So for offices and businesses, what sort of precautionary actions can they take? Yes, it's particularly difficult. But I think what businesses can do is, for example, just have this more available in and out of the washroom, over handrails, over public objects where you touch. Mm -hmm. So if they do that, then everybody can just access hand hygiene more frequently. And on top of that, maybe it would be helpful if everybody just is vigilant of their symptoms. If they're sick, don't come to work. We're not just talking about 
Wuhan. We're not talking about coronavirus. It's not the only virus floating around in winter, mm. right? There's, there's also flu. There's also everything else. So if you have symptoms, just cover yourself up with a mask or um, just don't come to work and that would be the best for everybody. Right, and then Dr. Joyce, uh, I want to ask you what about vaccinations? Is it too late? No, it's definitely not too late. So we're still doing currently um, influenza vaccinations and we encourage everybody to get vaccinated. So it's definitely not too late, although it started a couple months back. So if you haven't had yours, so make sure you go to a nearest health provider to get your vaccine. Mm, okay, well, Dr. Joyce Lai, such a knowledgeable conversation. Thank you so much for coming in today. No, it's my pleasure. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Thank you.